So actually, yeah. we'll start with them now. We've got um, our we've got bottom three, top seven. Uh, we've got overachievers, underachievers, player of the season, and Golden Boot winner. Uh, You've all done predictions, haven't you? I've all done it, yeah. That's I did been it. your right home, now. home <coughs> of this pod. I did it. Um, start with bottom three. We'll all, uh, should we take it in turns just saying different yeah. ones? We can debate if we want. Um, yeah. I've gone with two of probably the easiest answers, with Luton and Sheffield United. Yeah. Luton Sheffield. bottom, yeah. Sheffield United 19th, yeah. and then Everton. Ooh. Because I think what will happen, it's happened from last few years, Everton have just gone downhill. Yeah. And they've escaped yeah, for what, gonna... two two seasons in a row, and this season they're going to go down. Yeah. So I agree. Uh, you actually said that you didn't want Everton to go down. I, no, don't. I, I would miss the Merseyside derbies a lot as a Liverpool fan, but I've put them to go down. I've done the exact same as you. Yeah. Well, I've, I've done, done them the to go same. down at 17th. Yeah. I, don't, I've done the exact same. I don't want Ben Godfrey going. Have you all done the exact same as me? I've got Everton 18th, then Sheffield 19th, then Luton 20th. Yeah. I've gone with uh, Bournemouth 18th, 18th. Luton 19th, Bournemouth. and Sheffield United 20th. I think Bournemouth, everyone at the start of last season were like expecting them to go down and I expected them to come bottom. And they like did really well. What, well, came 15th this season, was it? 16th, so yeah. Yeah, 15th. And uh, I think this season they're going to go back down. I agree with <coughs> what Callum said though. Everton... No, they've obviously not been at their best the past few seasons. Yeah. Well, they escape, yeah. they escape it every time, don't they? Because they're, 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 the last game, it, 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 it's going to be tight. It's, because yeah. they escape by like just a few points, literally about two points, it kind of has to be their season to go yeah. down. Yeah. So it was lucky, it was really there's, lucky. Has everyone put, apart from Joe, yeah. Luton, Sheffield, United, Everton? Yeah. I mean, and Luton and Sheffield are probably the standard. Yeah, yeah. So... Uh, that was easy. Bottom three, top seven, probably a bit different. Yeah, more teams. Say uh, seventh first for the Conference League. I've gone Brighton. I don't think they'll do as good as they did uh, this season. They've lost McAllister. They'll probably lose Caicedo and some of their players. And I mean, they could. They lost. Was it Kukurea to Chelsea? Yeah. Replacing with someone better. They lost Potter, replacing with someone better. They could do it again. Yeah. But also with. Uh, as well. Yeah, with European football sort of in the way for them, then I think they'll get seven, not comfortably, but I think they'll be able to scrape it probably. <laughs> 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 what have you gone like? Yeah, seven. Oh, Aston Villa. Yeah. Is that for seven? Yeah. Yeah, I just I, 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 I don't well. reckon. Yeah, right. I don't reckon Brighton. Yeah, I went. Yeah, I went they'll do it again. Aston Villa. Yeah, I don't, yeah, I don't reckon Brighton will get there. I think. Anyway, if Brighton lose, well, they've lost Matt. Yeah. Yeah. It depends well. who they sign, though. They yeah. could go and I sign think... someone. He could be the transfer of the summer. Yeah. <laughs> right. Just because of Unai Emery, I think he's done great this season. and He is a great manager, and yeah. I think he'll keep him. Have you two gone with that? Yeah, I've, I've, I've got you. Spurs seven. Oh, Spurs. I don't think Villa. I don't think Kane will, I don't think Kane will leave Spurs. I don't, think, I don't think Villa. You've had a couple of uh, yeah. I had a cross couple about yeah. <laughs> uh, I don't I don't think Villa and Brighton will do as well as they did last season. I think like Brighton could come eighth and then Villa could come ninth. Yeah. yeah. But I think Brentford will go high as well. Yeah. We've got two spots for the Europa League as well. I've gone Spurs and Liverpool. I think Ooh, Spurs will finish sixth, Liverpool will finish fifth. That's controversial. Uh, I've got Newcastle and Chelsea. Spurs. I've got Chelsea. Newcastle 6th, Chelsea 5th. 5th? I think they'll turn it around next season. So surely you've got Chelsea as overachievers then? I've no, I have, yeah. Yeah. I have, yeah. I, know, I, I know they've been crap, but I think they've obviously got another player, but Nkunku coming this season. So I, I just think they'll make it work this season. Even with Mason Mount gone? I know he's not yeah. played, but he's... Yeah, he's not. I don't think he'll be... Because if he's not even played yet, then yeah. I know Nkunku's a good replacement anyway. Pochettino yeah. masterclass next season. Then. Yeah. I've gone uh, Chelsea six. I think they'll turn it around. It's obviously better yeah. than last season. Well, last season. I think they'll they'll do like um, they'll do a United. They'll slowly get better, but they won't like be really good. They won't be challenging for the title. I don't think, but they'll be slowly getting better. Six and Newcastle fifth. I don't think Newcastle will do as well as they did last season. Yeah. But I think like in future seasons, Newcastle could do better. What are you doing, Harry? Chelsea and Arsenal. <laughs> I just think I, I, I just think with Arsenal, it, 
it's, sorry twins it's been one of them seasons yeah, where yeah, yeah, they've gone brilliant the, I, don't I, mean, <laughs> I mean they've not exactly kept up their good form towards the end of the season yeah, okay, yeah. it's whether they start off good next season or yeah. they start off as it have been I definitely don't but think we'll do as well as next I think, season though. I think it's one of them but I, I I do think the top seven it could it could kind of finish I mean no one predicted Liverpool to finish where they would yeah, yeah. either so yeah. anything could happen but yeah maybe. that because I, I was deciding I, I didn't put Brighton there there was a lot of teams which I could have and same with Spurs I made uh, Newcastle sixth and then a last minute change between Liverpool and Chelsea I put Chelsea fifth I think they'll have a big, big So, season. So we've all, apart from me, said Chelsea. I don't think Chelsea will finish top seven. Do you not? Do you not think no, I, I, Yeah, I but the players top they've top got, I think this season they were just working on it, and then next season, yeah. with well, all their players they've got. Trying to be I think we'll, yeah. we'll have to do a predictions post transfers. Yeah. Um, yeah, yeah, definitely. We'll have a bit more of an idea. Champions League spots. Uh, Actually, we'll just do top four because we'll know the winner after these. Fourth, Arsenal for me. Uh, third, Newcastle. Second, Man United. And first, Man City. Newcastle. Where are Liverpool coming for you then? Fifth. Oh, yeah, so I think, fifth, um, I think Newcastle <coughs> have a good season again. Okay. They're on the up. Third. Uh, third. Above Arsenal. Yeah, but yeah. Just above Arsenal. Sure. And then Man United, especially if they can get Kane, they'll definitely finish second. Yeah. If they have a good goal scorer, they've, they've got, got Rashford as well, haven't they? So yeah, they've, if, they've, if, they've, if, if they can get, if they can, can get Rashford into the form he yeah. was, and they've got, and if they do get Kane, they'll with Kane, I, I think second. with Kane it's service. I mean, yeah. it, it, the service he gets from Son and whatever. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Got that, that good good good. Good. Song's got a lot of the assists. But so would, you get, would you get the same yeah. service from the United midfield yeah. and wingers? Yeah. Yeah, I, I think it, it could be better. Ericsson, Sabitz. Sabitz is the same. Yeah. 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 Wait, Sabitz, Callum, where did you put Spurs? Uh, uh, Casemiro, Spurs Spurs and the wingers. Yeah, yeah. so the thing is, if, if Kane does leave and Spurs, who Kane has scored 30 of their goals this season, they're going to struggle. I think they'll get someone decent here. Um. And then Man City winning the league comfortably. Again. I don't think there'll be much of a challenge for Man U. Pro- they will be in part ups, but it'll be a comfortable win for Man City. Yeah. Um, um, I've gone go. Arsenal four. I still think they'll get Champions League, but not as good as the season's last one. Uh, Liverpool third. I think most people are expecting Liverpool to do better than they did last season. Mm-hmm. Um, United second, what you said, and any and anyone who don't put City first, I think he's just trying to be different. To be honest. Mm-hmm. Yeah. <laughs> they'll they'll win it for the next at least yeah. three years, I think. Have you gone, Luca? No, I've gone Liverpool fourth, like Joe said. I think they'll they'll do much better this season. Arsenal third, Man United second, oh. just because especially if they get a striker like Kane or then whoever, <laughs> I think they'll just be scoring all the goals in Man City first. Definitely. Yeah. Five miles. Is that everyone? I think Harry's Harry, <laughs> yeah, being left up. Yeah. No, I've gone City yeah, top. Just City top, yeah. top, that's obvious. I've gone United second. Just, we've got Pay me to say. Well, if Theo goes United second, I've, yeah. I've, I've, got, got, I've, I've got Liverpool third and yeah. Newcastle fourth. That's, I think that's fair enough. Liverpool yeah. third. Nah, I think Darwin Nunez. Yeah, Nunez. Yeah. I think I've well, got Post transfers. We've got Gakpo. Bobby. I've put <laughs> still, still Liverpool bad. four because they, they will do better, especially with McAllister. Uh, Arsenal third. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I think it'll definitely be different to this season there, especially on how we ended. We ended quite poorly, so and then Man United second, and obviously City first. Yeah. Is there any um, is there any world where Arsenal don't finish in the top four? Um, I think we could. My world. Yeah, maybe. Yeah, Harry. <laughs> yeah. Harry, Harry, Harry's yeah. got his, yeah. Oh, it, because it, it could happen with Champions League um, being in the way. We we said um, when they went out for sporting, um, when you lost sporting in the Europa League, that it was a blessing in disguise because you wouldn't yeah. have to worry yeah, about anything yeah, exactly. else in the Prem. Same with like when we were out Whereas, in the Carabao Cup FA Cup. We were out quite early in there. Yeah, it was probably it. A, is it a bit of an excuse now, a blessing in disguise. To say that you're out of the competition. Yeah. Mm. Well, mm. I remember Liverpool. Yeah, yeah. Liverpool, yeah. I saw some of my Liverpool mates in 
2020, do you know when they got beat by Atletico? Uh, oh, yeah. They were all saying, oh, yeah. But we're only focusing on the Premier League game. <laughs> I can admit now I was just making a yeah. <laughs> Um Right, I've... Uh, we'll do under and over achievers. I've gone for all my top seven, two of them are in there. Overachievers Spurs, because I think if they finished eighth, and if they manage to... Because they'll lose Kane, probably. Yeah. If they do lose Kane, it will be. If they manage to finish... Uh, six, which I've predicted them, without Kane, so without a player that goes, what, 30 goals a season, yeah. he's scored uh, almost 50% of Spurs' goals actually, this season, actually, uh, 43%. Um, and so without him, if they finish sixth, that's overachieving yeah, Spurs. That's, really. that, that would be huge if they finished sixth without Kane. European football, and they've not got Maybe one of the best goal scorers yeah. in the league. Probably. Underachievers Arsenal, because just scrap the fact it's Arsenal. If you were in a title race for yeah. one season and you were you were top for like 90% of the season, then you finished fourth, that's underachieving. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Well, 100%. It, you know, yeah. you can't write them off just because it's Arsenal because it's a one off thing that they have a title race. That it's underachieving, really. Yeah. Have you gone? No, I think it's only you've gone. But um, I've gone. Chelsea. <laughs> <laughs> what, 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 what? <laughs> I've gone Chelsea as my overachievers because if they, if they do get Europe this season, oh, yeah. I just think any place in Europe. I put them fifth, but still any place in Europe would be amazing after the shocking season last season. And I've put your overachievers as my under, and I've got Spurs, my underachievers. I just mm-hmm. if they do so lose, where have, Kane, you, have you got them not even finishing? No, they're not seventh. No. Yeah. If they do lose Kane, I just no, I don't think they have any help. Uh, yeah, I feel I feel like the top seven's attracting you lot to doing your overachievers and mm-hmm. because I've gone with Burnley as my overachievers. I think I agree. I, I, kinda, I, kinda get, I get the feeling no, like sixteenth or fifteenth. I get the feeling that some people, a lot of people, do think that they will survive, but I think they could. I think they will as well. Some people will be saying they might go back down, but I think companies. Good manager, mm. could get some good players in, yeah. yeah. And underachievers, Newcastle, I think Newcastle third. It wasn't luck, obviously they lost. I think the least amount of games out of every Premier League team. Um, but I think this season they won't do as well. They'll get fifth, which is still respectable, and then they'll build more in the coming season. Yeah. Would you say that's underachieving then? Yeah. From third to fifth. Yeah. Well, I suppose I've got second to fourth. Yeah. Bernie so. definitely won't go down, in my opinion. Well, I, I think. think yeah. 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 I think the company's been brilliant this yeah. season. Championship. Yeah. I think people expect though that Newcastle are just going to get third again. Mm. But I don't think they're going to mm. Have you gone with Harry? I've gone overachievers, Chelsea, Lucas Point. Yeah. Underachievers, Brighton. I just don't think. Yeah. They'll do as well. Europe will get in their way, do you think? Uh, yeah, I, I, just, I just can't see easy. them doing as well as what they have done. I mean, they haven't had a bad season, but I, I can't see them doing that again. Well, they had a brilliant season, yeah. they deserve it. But I, I can't see them doing that again. Yeah. Yeah, I've gone yeah. Chelsea as well, just because, for over, because coming from what, like 10th were they? 2 4th, yeah, I think they'll do well. 12th. Well, yeah. and then I've got fifth, so yeah, and then Newcastle under, because I, I think, even with the money, they're not going to get top four. Like it's a bit of a, it might have been a one good season, like they were great this season, and obviously sixth will be good for them, but top four with the teams are uh, quite a stretch. Yeah, we'll do player of the season and golden boot in the same one. Golden Boot, uh, as as Joe said before, if you don't go with Harlan, you're just trying to be yeah. different. Yeah. So yeah, Harlan Golden Boot, and yeah. then Player of the Season. What first popped into my mind was Harlan because he's sort of lot. Although when you actually watch him, Player of the Season is an all round Player of the he's Season, not, not goal of the everything. season. I mean, he's classical. So player, yeah. two Man City players have gone with Kevin De Bruyne. Yeah, I just think he'll have. There. Even an average season with Kevin De Bruyne is yeah, player of the season yeah. nominee worthy. Uh, have you gone with Haaland well, as well? I've gone Haaland for Golden Boot, obviously. Yeah. And I did go with Haaland for player of the season, but it was the same as your point. He's He scores goals, but that's really it. He's not really yeah. a tracking back, helping midfield and all that. So I've put Saka 
and Joe also edged me towards putting Saka <laughs> as well. <laughs> I've got Saka a little bit biasedly, but yeah. I think, uh, I think I've, got, I've got Haaland as well, his golden boot. I don't think he'll score as many goals. Yeah, I think he could get like 25, 24. But, um, and player of the season as well, I was going to do Haaland. But then I thought, like, they're giving it one season. It, like, they probably should have given it to Haaland if he does well next season. But they've given it one season, so I went with Saka as well. Yeah. Yeah. Do you think he'll have a better season then than... Well, season. he came second. The second, I don't know. Has Haaland already been announced by the season yet? Yeah, yeah, uh, yeah, yeah. Because yeah, 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 Saka think. came second this season, so uh, I, I think see. Saka's had a had a good season in I think twenty in the COVID season where there's no one allowed in. Yeah, um, he had a good season in twenty one, twenty two, and obviously Carlson. So he's, he's, he's on the up in this so he's, season. Yeah. He's, he's not having. I'm going to change not, like, mine peaking, now, actually. He's not like peaking and going down and then having a good yeah. season. Like actually, see it, Theo. Just tell us what you had before. I had Haaland for both, just thinking of this season, yeah, him yeah. obviously getting golden boot. But honestly, yeah. the points as well, and I think Saka, just an amazing player as so, well. Uh, yeah, yeah, definitely Saka plays. What are you doing? I've, I've gone Haaland for both as well, hearing those points, I'm, you know. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. But uh, I just think with Haaland, and I'm sorry to bring him into this, but if the mistakes Haaland made... Yeah, obviously, Nunes in, in there. No, <laughs> hear me out. If... <laughs> Nunes gets slandered for missing clear goal scoring opportunities. Yeah. Uh, Haaland do not get any of it. Because <laughs> he's, he's, he's bad. Because he's no, bad. No, but Haaland. <laughs> the amount Haaland spoons in a game is, yeah, it, it, is close or more than Nunes. N- Nunes who plays he's, he's to got, be. But Nunes didn't uh, play to be a striker. No, he is a left winger. He's a, it was a left winger. He's, 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 he's played as a winger. He's played as a winger or he's played as a centre forward like Bobby who will drop back and allow Salah and, well, and Gakpo or whatever. He was a left winger at Benfica, wasn't he? Yeah. yeah. He was like... He, he, yeah, he was like. But yeah, Nunes, like, isn't, yeah. Nunes isn't there for goals. He's, he's, not, not, he's not there for scoring, yeah. scoring goals. But that... I, it's like That's comparing your modern day striker like your Kane or, yeah. you know... And your or your Harlem to your, your Pele and that it, it's a different yeah. game of football, you but could... you, you can't compare two different positions. And I think I think so, it's unfair to. Yeah. What? So and... you gone with Harlem for both. Yeah. What right. Harry's saying about Harlem Nunes kind of fair because Harlem there's a few like that he him especially him should have scored. And yeah, but them. I don't think. But like, you can't compare Harlem. Chance, big chances that Harlem has missed it. Like yeah. in the highlights yeah. again, he has yeah. missed. Yeah. 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 But of course, he can't really follow. Although. We, we were looking this morning at expected goals. Harlan scored 36 and he's got 28 expected goals. Yeah. So, eight more eight more than expected is... And he's not really expected to score every shot, so well, obviously yeah. you miss him. Though. I was thinking, like, after everyone talked about Nunes, for it, like, oh, he's terrible, he's not going to... So, I, I was thinking, I mean, I didn't really follow it, but I was thinking, oh, he's got six and seven goals all competition. He's got 15 goals in all competition, yeah. so that's more than I, like, thought he would have. Yeah. Yeah. He's not, that's not a good season. Terrible. He's not done terrible. The fir- no. First time in the Premier yeah. League. In the first half, he wasn't. He was clearly he, not as good. But yeah. then they moved him over. Gakpo at striker and Nunes started playing. And, and we had a there. look as well. Yeah. And Nunes had got uh, one, only one and a half more goals than expected or something like that. So he he has exceeded it. 